Hello and welcome to Mülheim and the Ruhr in Germany. In this street, Kölner Strasse, you will find the greatest selection or the largest selection of RVs anywhere in Europe. There may be a place in the US which has a greater selection, that I don't know. But as far as Europe is concerned, it is the biggest selections here. There are many RV places. The first one you come to off the motorway is this one, Achon Camp at Kölner Strasse. And uh, today I'm looking at this vehicle here, the Van 620. It's on a Renault base. It's called Black Edition. And the sign says that it will soon be available. So, it's not at the time I'm doing this, it's not available, it will soon be available. Um, it's a brave thing to say in the current market, but as you can see, it's on a Renault, and Renault has been far more successful in coming out of COVID and meeting its obligations than has uh, Fiat Ducato. But I'll do that in a different video because it's not quite as simple as that, and that may be doing. Uh, Fiat an injustice, but not the subject of this video. This vehicle is 620 centimeters long. We've got a, a small dinette, as you saw, there's a kitchen here, there's the washroom, and at the back, we've got lengthwise beds. This vehicle is in a, here, let's just close this a bit. Uh, this vehicle is uh, in a condition before it gets delivered. So, uh, as you can see, we've got the bed here. We've got the bit in the middle, which will go down there, but that goes up there. So we can take the mattresses away. We can lift up the, uh, the, the, the sides if we want to, and there's the mattress lifted up. And under that, we've got the board which will go down there. We've got some extra kit here, which is about to go into the vehicle. And uh, so this is what it's like just before it gets delivered. Furthermore, the tools are down there. So we can see that some work is going to be done on the vehicle for the customer. Uh, we've got storage at the sides, as you'd expect in a camper van got something there at the back to put stuff in as well and if i come round here you will see that we have a wardrobe of sorts right it's, it's not very deep i know i know it's not very deep but you can take this bit out the bottom like that and with as that comes out you've got that space further down so also i can look down here and show you that there is storage under the bed and there's a sliding part here and here to to hide whatever is going in there more storage on the right hand side and then we have the boiler this partition here stops the thing sliding around should it be necessary but if you don't want it in bang it just comes out here we have the washroom and where's the sink it's here this is the sink comes down like that under that we have the toilet and shower comes with a sensible sliding door like that then we have the mirror and over here we have the kitchen there you go it's got a wide domestic um, plug in there and on the other side we find two burners so um this one also has got the it's, it's cut mind you this has got nothing to do with the vehicle but these things here are quite good because it says here it protects you from the heat the cold and the nosy so um it certainly protects you from the nosy Obviously, it's uh, better than nothing as far as the heat and heat and cold are concerned. Um, actually, as far as the heat's concerned, it's quite effective. As far as the cold's concerned, it well, depends how cold it's going to get. The problem is, of course, if the nosy can't look in, 
you can't look out. Uh, we've got up here the, the panel, we've got the Truma heating. Um, the panel is, of course, for so you can see how much electricity and water is in there, this type of thing. There you go, so the drawers. Uh, benches here, I suppose it's called black edition because it's black on the outside and it's got black internally. I suppose you could put a television up here if you wanted to. 12 volt there and shore power and uh, more, uh, these are USBs. So a bit of storage here as well. Right, table as you can see has been folded but can fold out more comes like that and a fold up more as well uh, chairs will of course turn round here we you see six speed Renault base very important oh you've got uh, some extra storage there as well and a nice skylight here and at the back I'm a big fan of skylights let's uh, let's go out the van and have a look at it from the outside So, if we come to the back, oh, here we find that. This is the gas cupboard, so this will, oops, I didn't push that far enough. You can get one gas canister in there. I know most fans do put two in. I've only got one in mine. I mean, if you're heating yet, yeah, it will, mightn't last so long. But otherwise, you may be carrying up, taking up space, which may be needed for other things in the summer. I mean, just cooking uh, the gas canister lasts ages, in my opinion. And I cook everything myself, which most people don't, you know. You can see what the storage looks like there. These belts are here to hold up the beds, the mattresses. You can see the buckles are up there. And this gives you a bit of additional look inside. So, uh, so there you have the black, uh, black edition from Ahorn Van 620. Um, what I'll do is I'll just have to give you a quick walk around. You can see some of the other things as well from the outside. Uh, this is uh, this is the smallest vehicle to do. I think it's called the city van or something. You can see also that we've got this uh, large uh, selection of various types of van. Uh, so it's the more traditional 620, which is called the Echo on the Renault Master. And so we have these over cabs, uh, Alaska TD uh, Canada series. And uh, for, I think the biggest uh, type of competition for the camper van, so a similar length is this one down here. It's a bit wider, but uh, in the, it's... The price is really quite similar. The price, incidentally, I didn't give to you. We'll be looking, it depends on the equipment, and that is something I don't know, but we'll be looking at around 60 plus, 60,000 euros, sorry, plus. And uh, yeah, I know it's a bit noisy, but not much I can do about that one. And anyway, I'm gonna stay here until I filmed a lot of these vehicles here and uh, that's assuming of course that the weather uh, doesn't get nasty when the weather is bad look at that it's still summer i suppose it's the first week of september uh, but uh it's it's you it can't really sort of trail uh wet into the vehicles i'm always complaining it's something that i'm about trying trying to trying to film it's not it's not copyright music now 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 it's the wet but uh, i can't i can't take my wet pause into somebody's somebody's vehicle having had to put up with that myself over a for a number of years somebody's wet paws in my vehicle that is good right so i hope you found that of interest uh, 
I do want to suggest here that if, you, if you're looking for vehicles, then this is a place to come to. Uh, there's new vehicles, uh, old vehicle, used vehicles. But, 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 bear in mind the current situation that we have in Europe with motorhomes. It's very difficult to, uh, to order anything. There's very little available which is used and waiting times are long. But waiting times for Renault are actually much shorter than other vehicles. So when it says kurz, kurzfristig, uh, shortly available, uh, then I think I think that that is the case. So thanks very much for being here with me and watching this. All the best from me in Germany. I upload every day at 21.15. And so if um, you're interested in seeing uh, caravans, not caravans, uh, camper vans and motorhomes, but not caravans, then this is the place to be. This is the largest uh, selection of uh, camper vans and motorhomes on YouTube or I believe anywhere on the internet. So thanks for being with me. Sorry for the background noise. Nothing I can do about that. But all the best from me in Mülheim.